Revenge Bros movie trailer is out, and I'm going to do my deep dive analysis um, on every single thing I can think of. Because there's quite a few little details we get just from this trailer. Um, and first and foremost, um, the official release date is confirmed. It is the 21st of July. I was right. So, let's get right into this. Um, the instant first thing I noticed was the green card. Um, sexual images, um, which warns us of strong language, sexual references, bloody images, and brief full nudity. So there is a good chance we will be seeing Rusty Naked again, or the Monarch. They're my two uh, primary choices for who will be naked, based on previous experiences. I'm going off the grid. Alright, Hank's going off the grid. He's dressed up as the bat. Um, it looks like he went back to Ventec Towers first. So probably Dean looking in the wrong place. Probably took out of his stuff. Disappearance. We see him then trying to board a train. He's still got his head wound. So this must be happening directly after the uh, events of the Southwest Protocol. Um, he disappears and gets on the train in his disappearance act. Where is Hank? Dean then goes straight to the Order of the Triad for help. Um, which makes sense because uh, Doctor O has literally located the boys multiple times before. We have to find him. Uh, but Hank's busy breaking into the old venture compound. I think we knew that was going to happen. Preparation. The Monarch is still stalking Rusty, um, as we see Doctor Misses the Monarch going into the Ventec Towers. Very briefly, in the scene behind the Monarch in New York, um, one of the characters looks quite a bit like Dermot's sister, um, Nikki. Um, and this could just be a complete coincidence. Um, we know this show is infamous for reusing uh, character models in the past. Um, but, you know, just eyes open. Um, Nikki is one of the Venture Bro, uh, you know, is one of the Venture Bro's mums. She has similar sort of connection um, to Dr. Venture as Bobby St. Simone will. Doc, we got a huge problem with the new product. We're launching tomorrow, gentlemen. Billy is obviously warning Doc about his invention going wrong. Um, and the new product looks a lot like a helper robot head. So I'm going to guess it's Rusty's attempt to create his uh, father's design again. Build his own AI. But helper is kind of uh, perfect. So we'll see. And hopefully helper can save the day if it does go wrong. And we can see on everyone's faces they are very nervous about Rusty's plan. And to work. Execution. I'm in. As Brock launches his drop scene, uh, drop squad to try and find uh, Hank. I know somebody suggested that that uh, fake Hank body might be Myra. Um, and it's a reasonable uh, chance we can see her come back in the film. Why not? Minions! Battle station! Monarch gets ready for war as per normal. Betrayal. Gentlemen, what can Arch do for you? Um, as we are introduced to a secret blonde woman. Who works for a rival supervillain organization called Arch. And the Monarch is probably the most poachable level 10 guild member. Um, since he does not care, care for guild politics. He is only here for his true hatred of Dr. V. Um, and I have, and I think most people, assumed that the lady leading this organization is probably Bobby St. Simone. Um, Hank's mother. Possibly Dean's mother. Um, but also possibly not Dean's mother. Uh, genetics is confusing and so is clones. It turns out this character is not actually um, Bobby St. Simone. Because if we whip up the IMDb, uh, we can see that she is listed separately and her name is Mantilla. Um, which is some form of a Spanish headdress. Um, so it doesn't give us a lot of clues into her identity. Um, except that it is both a veil and traditionally sort of in a spiderweb pattern. Um, so maybe there'll be some sneaky espionage, hence her trying to poach the monarch from the girls. Um... But if we also look at the IMDb, um, we can see we've still got Red Death. Uh, J.K. Simmons is returning as Ben, which is quite interesting. Um, we've got Mantilla and Bobby St. Simone, played by Jane Lynch. Um, and we have two new characters. Uh, Clayton, played by Hal Lubin, um, who I have no uh, particular idea on. You know, he's a Venture Bros regular. He is... Um, Wide Whale, so maybe it's just some side character to bring him back. And Nuno Blood, um, and this is not an actor I'm familiar with, uh, Mr. J. Farrow. Um, but I'm guessing it is some form of Blankula with the name Blood. Um, you know, not to project or anything, but it seems like it would make sense. 
Conspiracy. This is a threat against our very foundation. We must. Um, we can see our six guild council members um, preparing to deal with this new adversary. So I don't know if we'll be seeing Wide Whale this film. Um, I wonder if we'll be seeing Serena. I'll have to check the IMDb at the end of this. Let's protect our collective from this clear combination. Negotiation. Oh, and that's a new henchman suit for 21. I wonder if this will be the henchman um, mech suit that he's always wanted. I really hope so. He wants, he needs cool gadgets. I shall take it from here. We see Orpheus um, in some sort of mountain retreat in the blood vessel. Um, I'm not sure where this is. It could be near the bench compound, but I didn't recognize the background. Skedaddling. You're gonna have to run away. What? <laughs> and we see Shawleaf, which is very important. I knew he's already been confirmed from the film, but Shawleaf's a very important character. Um, as Doctor the Mrs. the Monarch is forced to escape in her lingerie, um, but Red Death isn't. So I don't know exactly what the deal there is. I assume... Um, Red Death has made some deal and somehow the monarch has caused his uh, lovely wife to end up in the OSI shit again. As so he just yeets out a window. We see Dr. O going through memories. Um, and importantly, I think there's one. There's one of Hank, there's one of the compound on fire, and there's one of a very evil Jonas Venture Senior statue. Um, which hopefully, we, or maybe not hopefully, means he may return. Something big just went kablooey five blocks south. Pull your team and check it out. Um, but something big went kablooey. Blow up -ery. Also, it looks like we're going to get a lot of the Order of the Triad because Jefferson has um, a scene where it looks like Twilight go against one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Blackulas all on his own. Tight pantsedness. <laughs> There's hatred's in the film, um, and hatred seems to be. As normal, struggling, at least as he has been in the last few seasons. Doc, are you okay? What the hell is going on over Something has gone wrong with the gravity, um, and the Monarch, Doc, Hatred, all in their pyjamas, are stuck floating. Um, assumedly something to do with Rusty's new robot head, which we also see defy gravity. Um, and Henchman 21 is still in some sort of battle armor. This is a setup. You can't possibly think I. Doctor Mrs. M is riding Red Death's badass horse through the city of New York. Did this. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Dean looks like he goes back to uh, Ben's house and is attacked by some sort of clothes-based golem. You've been waiting all day for this, haven't you? And then we see an actual team up of the new monarch in twenty-one armor, uh, and Doctor V and Hatred. Um, not quite equal sort of tier here. Um, Hatred's definitely now worse than uh, 21. But they have brought Helper, who is proven to be the best robot killer in the squad. The Venture Brothers. Radiant is the blood of the baboon heart. Ah, son of that could have been a baby's head. Now do you get it? Look for it on digital and Blu-ray. Ah, so I guess... Um, Billy's complaint about the uh, floating robot heads um, as like an Alexa helper is that they fall out of the sky and kill babies. <laughs> um, so, on the 21st of July, people, we will be having the best movie of all time. Um, and I can't do any more analysis